Today we're making the cutest seal ever. And this is made by Biotech 3D. Now I downloaded these from Thingiverse and you can see here there's a lot of options for different versions. I'm gonna go for this one, which is the base body with the eyes and nose separate. Now to be noted, I've been downloading these for free off Thingiverse, but the original designer has been kind of systematically deleting all the files. So I don't know if they're planned to be put behind a paywall or something like that, but it's been awesome to try them out and at least download and have a little bit of fun with these. And this one especially has probably become my favorite because it is extremely cute and very, very simple to print. This was super easy to print off. So for beginners, I think this is some wonderful 3D models and probably some of the cutest I've ever actually printed. And for this baby seal, I decided to of course print it in white with the eyes and nose being in black filament. So no paint or anything needed as well. And then just a quick bit of gluing at the end to overall finish it. And that's us done. So this is just cool and simple, nothing to it. Very short video here today, um, but we'll get through the process here and then show you the final piece. And I hope you guys do get the opportunity to download and try these out because they've been excellent 3D models and beautiful to work with. And overall, a little bit different from other stuff I've seen before, but I also think this could be recreated by people quite easily, this kind of style. So I'd expect to see if this becomes popular, a lot more like this popping up. So here we are, you can see fully articulated joints, real simple, all gets printed as one, and then the eyes and nose added on. Really nice to print. Good surface area as well. You don't have to worry about uh, adhesion too much and stuff like that. Really nice to print out overall. Yeah, real cute. And you could probably scale the heck out of this thing if you wanted to go super big with it and make something extraordinarily cute. But there we go. I wonder what it'd be like if you made this in, say, flexible material. Really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.